Now that we've learned how to do the stitching, let me show you how I go about putting the stitching onto the character's hat. The first thing I want to do is assess the hat before I start adding any kind of texturing or stitching. So I'm going to start sculpting in some cloth folds using the standard brush and just using a backwards and forwards swipe in different directions. I'll do this on all sides of the hat just to inflate some of the geometry and give it some dimension. And then I'll come back later and I'll hit it with the polish brush just to stylize it out. Now one of the first things I want to do is pull a crease right through the middle of the hat to make it look as if it was two pieces of fabric sewn together down the middle. And to do that I'm just going to go ahead and grab the orb crack brush. I'm going to set the hat within the orthographic top down view. And I'll start the stroke and then hold down shift to pull a nice straight line through the hat. One thing though that you have to be aware of is within the brush there is a back face masking and you need to enable that so that it doesn't penetrate through to the inside of the hat. Anytime that you're working on one side of a mesh, always be aware, especially with poly paint, that you could possibly penetrate through to the second side. So always make sure that back face masking is enabled so that you can prevent any of that happening. The next step before adding stitches, I'm just going to lightly go over the hat with a little bit of a texture and I could get this really nice almost felt like cloth look just by turning on the spray and using some type of alpha in this case the concrete cracks I'll just gently go over the hat and cover the entire surface with that texture now that I'm ready to begin pulling my first stitch line I'm going to put the hat into a side view orthographic and then I'm going to hold down shift and then start to move the hat in an upward direction when I remove the shift which will allow me to rotate within the orthographic so that I can put the hat in the basic horizontal pattern that will make it easier for me to pull the line. I'll move over to my stitch tool and I'll just start brushing to make sure that I have the right intensity setting. I also want to ensure that I have the stitch at the right size also. So I'll either adjust my draw size or I'll zoom in or out of the object from the camera so that I can easily reduce or enlarge the size of the stroke. So you notice here I stopped the stitch because I couldn't go any further in the 3D space. When I try to pull a new stitch you can see how it tends to overlap on top of the other ones. It's very difficult to sometimes line up. So one trick that I do is I just gently erase out or, or smooth out the final stitch or the last stitch in that line. Again I'll adjust the distance from the camera to make sure I have the right size. And then I'll go ahead and I'll pull those stitches one more time and you'll notice it seems really nicely. Now I'll turn the hat around and I'll do the same thing to the front part of the hat. Once again smoothing out the last stitch and then seaming in the new stitch from that point. Now we'll move back to the top view and using the same stitch I want to remove X symmetry and this time pull a much larger draw size through the center of the hat basically making a much larger stitch pattern. So I'm really happy with this size of the stitch and also the intensity setting that I have. Now one thing I'll need to add to the hat is a little pocket where the feather is sewn into the hat. And for that I'm just going to cut into it a little bit with the orb crack tool. And then I'll actually use the Move tool to push some of the geometry in slightly. And then finally I'm going to grab some stitches and once again pull a stitch on the outer part just to finish it off. I'll even use a slight slash tool holding down the Alt so that I'm raising the stitch and I'm going to create just a few small finishing stitches on the end.
but the hat still seems a little bit plain and I need to add a little bit more of a design element. So I'm going to go ahead and just use the mech cut tool and pull a line around the brim of the hat just to give it an additional crease going all the way around. And so there's the finished hat. It looks really nice. I'm really happy with it. And it took only about 30 minutes of sculpting time.